this game has already demonstrated that doing some quests before others may have consequences. When that guy that... Whatever the heck that healer's guy's name was, I don't remember. When he was healing people and asked me to go get something for him. I did one of the other prerequisite quests first, came back and he was like, you're too late, he's dead. Whoops. So, I kind of don't want to leave them unprotected because I, I worry for their safety. Uh, is it really that much further? Actually, it kind of is. Okay, I'll fast travel here and go do that. I worry. I worry. And, I don't know, I just... The king's... One of the kings is the sage of their specific branch. Which one is it? Is it Worshippers of the Bloodline? I don't remember. But one of them is the head of that branch. And I don't know which one it is, and I worry, so... Nah. Someone's comment was like, I can't wait till you get to Sparta! And it's like, why? <laughs> why? Why can't you wait till I get to Sparta? <laughs> I just got the following DLC for Dying Light, and I haven't beaten it yet, but I've been working on it. It's my first time ever playing it. And, uh, it's the one with the vehicle, so every time I get on some sort of, like, you know, vehicle horse thing, I just hold R2 and immediately think that's gonna make me go forward. God help me, I'm playing too many games all at once. Days Gone, this, Dying Light, um, what's the other one? Mother told me to meet her at the statue of Artemis in the Cedar. I'm- yes, I'm oh, aware of that. Now. I think it's over here. Resident Evil 2! Right! I beat Leon's campaign, I still have to start Claire's. But, yeah, I'm playing a lot of games right now, all of which have very different controls from each other. And that's probably not gonna be very good for me. <laughs> in terms of keeping the death count low. Well, that's not what this is. You said she was on the border of the Golden Fields and the Smuggler's Forest. Ugh. Maybe there's a statue up here. Wouldn't surprise me. Pardon me if I seem a little sleepy, guys. But... Yeah, we'll be to see Mater in Brasidas again. But I literally just got back from a, like, a several days trip in North, uh, to North Fork. Literally just got home, unpacked, like, all my food that I had left over and stuff, and immediately hooked my PS4 back up again, and now I'm recording. And I wouldn't record when I'm this tired, but I'm gonna record some more Days Gone tomorrow as well, because, um, Wednesday- no, Thursday night, I'm heading to LAX to fly to DC to see my sister graduate from Georgetown, so, hello. Yeah. It's gonna be a busy week, and these are the, on the last two days I'm gonna be able to record, so... Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you? I got the God Riyad and Brasidas said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Well, Brasidas. thank you, but how do you what know me? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. Thanks, I guess. I won't be modest. <laughs> Brasidas knows a warrior when he sees one. Word of my deeds will outlive any statue. Of course. Your story should be sung from the mountaintops. In Arcadia, you are already a legend. I've Where barely is been here. I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman, you'd like to speak with her too, yes? Wait. Yes. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. Excuse me? Who the fuck do you- Ow! Who the fuck do you think you are? Why did I get the feeling this guy was gonna kill me? <laughs> or at least, excuse me, try! Try to kill me! Ow! Off oh, wrong damn buttons. I am all over the place! I need to get used to this for a second, guys. Sorry. Uh. Actually, the fighting is kind of similar to Dying Light, because it's the R1 and 2 to attack. 
Is R2 attacking that game? Or is R1... My god, I just got finished playing... Well, not finished, but you know, I played it for a couple of hours earlier today. And I don't even remember what the buttons are anymore. <laughs> Come at me! I didn't even look at your name either. Sosipatros, the Archon Servant. That's probably not good. Archon, huh? Ow! I dodged that and that, you asshole! Found you. Let me at him, let me! What are, are you- are we really gonna turn this into a ranged battle? Cause that is a battle you will not win, or you're gonna heal. Like a little ah, pussy. Oh yeah! I- I- I dodged you! Oh dang it. Gotta dodge that one. Okay, hold on. OH SHIT! Can you attack him now? Thank you. This man is very strong. To kill or not to kill? Am I gonna have the option to spare this guy? I was about to say the same thing to you, mister! Uh oh. Woohoo! Why- why does it not count when I hit square? Oh no! No no no! Can you- can you do the special attack now? Thank you! Oof, I'll just stop four stabs later. My story will outlive any statue. Who says that? Tell me where they are. An you awesome person? Fuck you! Of your shit-eating face! He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. I'm not playing nice with you. You just tried to kill me. Tell me where my mother is, or I'll shove my spear so far down your throat, you'll be shitting iron at the gates of Hades. No, fuck. Please, <laughs> show mercy. Speak! They're on a hill. More for looking the gear. I'm up. No, I need. I need answers. Pay you enough? Who did? Tell me, or I'll wrap your guts around your neck and hang you from that tree. The Archon. He's paying more for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. So wait. Tell me who the Archon is. Does Brasidas want to be dead too? <laughs> La Rose. His name is La Rose, and he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. He who controls the grain, controls the world. You threaten the wrong people, Malaka. I don't threaten. I promise! Okay. Well, as long as you promise. You're either brave or a fool. I would say the same thing to you, you asshat. No, I won't kill you. Okay, but wait, did Brasidas offer to kill me because of what I did in fucking all the wrong damn buttons? Because of what I did in whatever land that was? Is Was that, um, no, it's not Kefalonia. It's, uh, the other K1, right? God, I don't freaking remember. Corinth, Corinthia, that's what it was, right. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was the name of the place. I can get that marker off my map now. Hold on. There we go. Like, they had to move. And so he was like, hey, I'm gonna pay you, wait here for this girl, and tell her where we went. But someone else paid to have him try and kill me instead. I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, there's a viewpoint here. I'm gonna get it. Because I don't have any viewpoints out here. Also, I must say, uh, since my last session of this game, I have platinumed both Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered and Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered, so I've platted them both. Yep. Yay! Ding! <laughs> it's interesting going back to a game, you know, that was made seven years ago, and then going to the most recent chapter in the series and seeing just how much has improved. Graphically, mechanically, like, it's- oh, speak- I got a new skin on my controller, ain't it cool? But, yeah, like, it's- it's pretty cool. 
Although I will say, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered uh, seems to suggest that the graphics are better, and they're really not. There were certain parts that I was just kind of like, is that really supposed to look better? Because it actually kind of looks worse. Like, I love Ubisoft, I love their games, but they're really, if there's one thing they're really not good at, it's remastering games. I'm sorry. Ooh, alrighty. That was quite a climb, especially with a torch in my hand. But I made it! Oh, come on now. Really? I wanted to hear that conversation! Thank the gods you found us. I got your message. Your messenger is lucky to be alive. He betrayed you, Rasidas. These cultists Marini told me about. They knew you were coming and must have forced La Rosse to place the bounty on your heads. Trusting anyone in Arcadia will be difficult now. Which is why I say we put that Archon's head on a pike. Our message to okay. the puppet king and Sparta will be clear. Uh... I mean, we are trying to kill these people. Let's be honest. <laughs> you know, the, the saying in The Dark Knight, you either die the hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And I feel like if I resort to our enemy's methods, I don't beat them, I replace them. Right? I don't want to be consumed with vengeance. Fuck it. Let's find out more about what's going on in Arcadia. We should be able to solve this Lagos problem without too many beheadings. After what happened to the monger in Corinthia... That crowd wanted blood. Violence doesn't always solve problems. I've learned my lesson now! Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. Arcadia is Sparta's breadbasket, and Lagos keeps it full. That man is working for the cult of Cosmos, not Sparta. Then we need to free him from their grasp. What makes you think he wants to leave? It's easier said than done. threats aren't Lagos' style. He's a farmer, not a killer. Let's hear both your sides. What do you have in mind, Brasidas? Unlike your mother, I think we can handle this quietly. I'm going to begin by investigating a safe house he keeps. There might be some evidence there. For a guy who's Spartan, he's very... Diplomatic, I guess? He's not, like, just like pretty much everybody else in Sparta, who <laughs> just wants to murder everybody that wrongs them. Okay, Mom. What do you think we should do? What do you I want? I still say we send the Archon to Hades. Upsetting Sparta's breadbasket will send the false king searching for crumbs. The Archon is no longer the man you knew. The cult has him now. I mean, like my brother... That's kind of a good point, actually. <sighs> Looks like I came just in time. You certainly did. But it's time to make a decision. Fuck, fuck this game. God damn it. I... Uh, I don't want to go against my mother, but I don't want to go against Brasidas again either, because I like where his head is at. We're dealing with the cult. The cult needs to die. I understand that. But at the same time, it's like... Hold on, I'm making, like, adjustments on the fly because it's, it's late. I'm a bit gonna be recording uh, more often in the evenings now, so I'm, like, kind of experimenting as I go here. But, ugh, like, I love that he's always constantly going for the nonviolent approach. Because we need more of that. But at the same time, this is the cult we're talking about, and Mater makes a really good point about when the cult gets their hands on somebody, they're not the same person. Example being, Demos. I'm going with you, Brasidas. Your strategy makes sense, Brasidas. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. Shut up, phone! You're letting sentimentality cloud your judgment. I wouldn't say sentimentality. Thousands of Spartans depend on Lagos for food and protection. His death would bring chaos. There's a farmhouse northeast of Degea where he has a safe house. Meet me there before you do anything you'll regret. <laughs> Back in Corinthia. I do regret that. And what if Brasidas' plan doesn't work? The Archon hides like a coward in Fort Samikon. You can't miss that monstrosity. You could go after him now, but be careful. 
He's well defended. Then we must weaken his defenses. He's got barracks full of guards and silos full of grain. It would be a shame if any came to harm. Mm, I mean, I can find that stuff easily enough, but Where sure. exactly are Lagos's guards stationed? Some rest their heads at the barracks in Tegea. There's also a camp and a fort in Smuggler's Forest. Destroy his guards there, and his defenses will be weakened. Yes, ma'am. Tell me where to find the silos. The Archon stores his wheat in Pan's cradle. Set the silos alight, and his livelihood will go up in smoke. Sounds like a good plan. See, this is this is what I said. We can start with the non-violent approach, and if it doesn't work, then we can resort to murdering him, okay? I'll go see what Lagos is up to. <sighs> good luck, my lamb. You don't understand. This isn't just about right. fire and wheat. Told you. This is personal. This war made nations wealthy overnight, including Argadia. Its grain fields kept Sparta's armies fed, making it a ripe target for the cult. But Lagos, Arcadia's benevolent figurehead, was no ordinary cultist. He longed for a world of peace in which he could raise his family until he became a puppet leader. Rebellious cultists faced an ultimatum, fall in line or his family would suffer. Oh, oh, that was you! <gasps> Cassandra knew his information could be used against him or against the cult. I remember that. Wow, okay. I, I, I remember that. Go ahead and quick save, in case there's something wrong. Sorry. I know you do what's right in your heart, but you have to put your family first, love. Yeah, yeah. Even, well, sometimes my family gives me bad advice. I shouldn't take it just because they're my family. Move. Animals outnumber people three to one in the air. Better watch out for predators. Oh, is that so? Really? I was unaware. Well, I assume if I'm... Look at the pretty flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm assuming if I'm in the city, I don't have to worry about predators. Ah. These must be the barracks Mother spoke of. Wait. Best stay out of sight. So, where is Brasidas' thing then? I thought this was Brasidas' thing. It is not. Where, God fucking. There we go. Alright, I, I guess I'll do this. I'm not killing him, I'm just weakening his defenses, which is fine. Kill the captain, loot the treasures. Wait, what button is whistle? Huh? There it is. What was that noise? Ooh! Eat it! Is that the captain? That was not the captain. Damn it. No matter, we'll fight. Oh, no matter. Ha ha ha, we'll find him. Hello? Oh shit, are you dead? What? Now he's dead. I probably should have scanned. Because again, I'm used to playing Assassin's Creed games where I don't have a pet eagle. Okay, so that's the captain. Treasures are there. And there's a dude here. Don't lie to me, game. There's a dude there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take this. He's in a bush! How'd you find him? God damn it! Your problem, sir. Bend the knee. Joseph. Ooh, frighten the kidney. Ow. <laughs> You 
fucker. And of course, I stopped a fight and a freaking mercenary shows up. Always. Anybody wanna. Oh, not rage mode though. Captain down. Ow, ow, ow! Fuck off with you and your burning sword, Shawnee the Gifted. I hate you. I really don't have time for you. I don't... I hate you. Fuck off. I don't have time for your measly fire-burning weapon bullcrap. No. I don't wanna. I mean... It's never bothered me before. Hey! Level 51! Whoa, hey there. Uncalled for, sir. I know if I stop to fight you, another- Yep, exactly. Look at that. Another mercenary showing up right now. I'm getting the fuck out of here! Where am I going? My next quest is... Fourth degree burns up here. Okay, let's go do that then. Nope, I'm hitting R2 to climb over things. Damn it, dying light. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I'll, I'll get used to it again. Maybe by the time this session's over. Fuck off, chicken. Hits off! You were gonna kill it and eat it anyway. Don't pretend like you weren't. That's a wolf. Fuck off, wolf! Eat that goat instead, not me. I need to be anonymous. Okay, working on it. These must be the silos. There's enough grain in here to feed hundreds of hungry soldiers. And they're keeping it for themselves like a bunch of assholes. This area will be well defended. Hey, stop! Fuck off, I'm blended! Alright. <laughs> Shut up! Some front door guards you were. That hatch on top looks like it'll burn, and the wheat will catch after. Yeah, I know how to burn a silo. I've done it before. Add that to the list of things I've never thought I'd say out loud. <laughs> Stab it! Will you mercenaries fuck off? Okay, hold on. If I'm gonna fight you, I gotta get away from this place so I don't lure the guards over. Kill him, Wolfie! Oh, good. Medeos the Irrelevant. Why would you pick that as your name? Irrelevant, huh? Ow! You desperate to make a name for yourself by taking out the Eagle Bearer, eh? Ow. What is it with you mercenaries and your flaming weapons? After I kill these two, I need to go to my map and clear my bounty so they stop fucking around with me. Nope! Alright, I'm in mid-roll! I hate you. Stop it with the fucking rage mode! Oh, okay. Does it look like I've held a weapon before, buddy? Every time I stop to block, they use rage mode or a bow. Like that! I say as they use both rage mode and a bow at the same time. 
Okay, I am sick of your tricks, both of you. Whoa, hey there. All right. Whoa, you just, did you just apparate? What other realm did you just come from? Can do this. Come here, you. I'm sick of you and your stupid explosive arrows. Okay, I've really decided that I don't fucking like either of you. Ow! Fuck! I tried to do something cool and I just get obliterated. because I have to heal myself. God, I fucking hate all of you. Yes, please help me, soldier sir. Please help me. Help me! Oh my god, I'm so... You really think I can't see you, by the way? <laughs> oh, please get up and move! Well, you look like one. Fuck you! <laughs> Are you gonna do anything, sir? Oh, there we go. Come on! You are irrelevant to the end! And you, you can go with him! Ugh. Fuck the both of you! Christ almighty! Please don't attack me, I'm not in the fucking mood. Oh, okay, I'm going to the map and I'm paying my bounty. Fuck that. God damn it. Pay all bounties. There we go. Please stop bothering me. Why is my mercenary meter still at three? I just paid off my bounty. Seems like... Oh, and these guys respawn. What a load of horse shit! 